a plastic surgeon is botching people's faces up and turning them into cursed Elden Ring randomly generated characters! Like, my bad, but if the end result of your plastic surgery is you looking like an NPC from Elder Scrolls Oblivion, some wrong, bro. Uh, some wrong. Even better. No, I mean, even worse. Look at this. How are you gonna go from blinking from your two eyes to only blinking with one eye after the surgery? I'm sorry, but this Dr. Kim guy needs to be stopped. But this TikTok doctor, Dr. Kim, is going viral and not for good reasons. As you've guessed it, this TikTok plastic surgeon is turning people into aliens. Let's put it this way. This Dr. Kim's plastic surgery results are so catastrophic that even TikTok had to step in and start censoring his videos. Like, you know it's bad when even TikTok has to step in and put trigger for your TikTok plastic surgery results. Now, a big cope I've seen going around on not only Twitter, but also the Dr. Kim's TikTok comment feed is how some people are literally defending Dr. Kim and they're saying stuff like, guys, uh, before we criticize Dr. Kim, we need to wait for the healed results of the patients, okay? We need to wait for the patients to heal. Okay, well, by that logic, I'm still waiting for Simon Tao to heal and it's been three years. It's been three years since this Simon Tao guy got his botched up plastic surgery and he's still looks like a mutated alien. So I don't know about you, but it kind of sounds like coping uh, to me personally. Like, uh, I don't think there's any healing that's going to be able to save this acoustic face. But the other reason that's why I don't personally believe in this whole uh, we need to let it heal, guys. We need to wait for the faces to heal cope is because actual plastic surgeons have responded to this Dr. Kim guy and they've all roasted him. They've all agreed that Dr. Kim's license needs to be revoked, like ESAP. Oh, what a good-looking older gentleman. He kind of reminds me of one of my neighbors growing up. Uh, pulling on his cheek. What happened to his face? Oh, what a little grandma. She kind of reminds me a little bit of my grandma. Oh, what a sweet-looking woman. what they do to grandma? People are commenting all over TikTok about this Dr. Kim's results. See. <gasps> Her earlobes! So, I don't know bro, you combine the fact that we're still waiting for Simon Towell to heal and it's been three years and he still looks like a, uh, an inflated balloon and we combine the fact with the actual plastic surgeon saying that Dr. Kim's uh, plastic results are atrocious the whole uh, let it heal uh, cope is uh, looking like a big cope. But what do I know, guys? It's like they say, right? Always trust a Reddit detective, a TikTok detective, over actual uh, doctors, over actual professionals in a respective field. This is not to say that all of Dr. Kim's plastic surgeries have ended in failure. I mean, for example, you've got this pinned video from Dr. Kim where the patient actually looks good after the plastic surgery. But uh, <laughs> you just have to love the fact that the video is pinned. It's as if the Dr. Kim himself is like, hey, you know what, guys? Uh, Okay, most of my plastic surgeries have ended in catastrophes, but uh, look at my pinned video though. I don't mess up all of my plastic surgeries. Like, it's funny. It's funny how the only plastic surgery that doesn't look like a, an atrocity is the one he's pinned. But I look at this and it doesn't really make me feel any better. Bro, at this point, uh, getting plastic surgery from Dr. Kim is like playing Russian roulette. You don't know what you're gonna end up looking as. If you're not lucky, you might end up looking like a mutated NPC from Elder Scrolls Oblivion. <laughs> and if you're lucky, uh, which is a... Uh, how many videos does this guy have? 20 videos? Yo, the odds are even worse than Russian roulette! But don't worry guys, you have a 1 out of 20 odds of looking better after the plastic surgery. Uh, actually, never mind. The whole pin argument of mine, uh, it turns out that this Dr. Kim guy's got two other videos. Two other videos that are pinned. But here's the thing though, those two videos, uh, the patients end up looking like demons from Bloodborne. So I don't know why those two videos are pinned. Don't believe me? Okay. Let's go look at the second pin video from Dr. Kim. Here we have a beautiful uh, woman, actual natural woman. Gigi! Gigi! This face is Gigi! What is that? Dr. Kim, you're cancelled, buddy. Because my bad, but when I look at something like this, uh, this is unacceptable. I mean, this is actually worrying if you think about it. Because think about it. If Dr. Kim actually pinned those two videos where the patients end up looking like demons from Bloodborne, that means he's actually proud of those results. Which explains everything. No wonder all of his patients end up looking like aliens. This is unironically a good facelift, according to Dr. Kim himself. By the way, why does the after video last for 20 seconds? It's like, unironically, Dr. Kim is proud of the, the, of the after results. Like, no, even one second is too much. Like, I'm sorry, but as you keep looking at these fucked up plastic surgery results, you start to wonder, this Dr. Kim guy, is he even Asian? Or did he just mistake someone with Down syndrome for a nation and they, they, they gave him a scalpel and he said, congratulations, you're a doctor now. And all of his patients are paying the price, like they're all getting turned into mutants. That face ain't right, bruh. That face ain't right. Like, y'all need to sue. Like, unironically, y'all need to sue. Don't believe in those uh, TikTok detective uh, five-head comments. Don't believe in them. Like, uh, them saying like, 
Don't worry, you're gonna heal. Uh, we're still waiting for this guy uh, to heal. Now, I have no doubt that some of these victims of Dr. Kim will end up healing and actually end up looking better than what we've seen with these initial results. But you've got me messed up if you think that this is gonna heal. Uh, ain't no healing from that, uh, sadly. Ain't no healing from that. Yo, you know it's bad when the end result is you literally looking like the meme guy. You know the meme guy who keeps staring like this? When that's the end result, you know it's GG, like it's GG. <laughs> but I do want to make something extremely clear, okay? I am actually not against plastic surgery, believe it or not, okay? Like if, you, if you're one of those people, like, like this guy who desperately needs a chin augmentation uh, surgery, go ahead, go ahead. Like I'll never be the one to say, uh, natural beauty is superior, okay? Uh, like, you need that chin. This guy needs that chin. He does not need the, his natural uh, deficiency. He needs uh, that chin uh, augmentation. Like, you know, if someone like KSI was to step in and, you know, announce to Twitter that he's like, guys, I'm gonna get a forehead reduction surgery. I would, I would, I would applaud him. I would be like, as you should, queen, as you should. But on the other hand, you've got someone like this Ollie London clown who literally got plastic surgery who spent 50k or more than 50k to look Korean and then instead he ended up looking like an alien. I, 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 I will personally never approve or support uh, that kind of plastic surgery. Most of the time what ends up happening is the people who, who, who think they need plastic surgery, their supposed need of a plastic surgery most of the time ends up coming from a mental illness. Like for example, when you see Starlight in season one of the boys for the first time, you're like, damn, damn. But then when you see her in season three, you're like, what the fuck, what the fuck happened? I think we can all agree that most people who get plastic surgery, unfortunately, it's not only coming from a place of insecurity, it's unironically coming from a place of mental illness. Like you see what other people don't see. Like you think you're disgusting when in reality you look good, good. And it's always sad in my opinion when I see before pictures looking extremely good and then the after picture looking like a uncanny valley cursed Elden Ring randomly generated character. And I have to be honest with you guys, but even though I'm not against plastic surgery, I have to say that some plastic surgeries just don't make sense. And not just plastic surgeries, but also cosmetic procedures. Like a lot of them just don't make any sense to me. For example, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard about this acoustic cosmetic procedure that involves people getting artificially taller. Some acoustic in the head people are literally going to a doctor to break their legs and, and stretching their, their leg bone to become artificially taller. And that's not without consequences, of course. They're literally crippling themselves to the point where they have to relearn how to walk. And not only that, but because of this extremely dangerous cosmetic procedure, they have to walk as if they're constipated on a daily basis until their legs uh, supposedly uh, heal. Like you're telling me that there are some people about breaking their legs to go from five foot two to still be a midget and be five foot six. It's just not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. And, and, and people, people love to ignore the, the side effects, the long-term side effects as you age. Because mark my word, when you're breaking your legs, when you're doing these crazy cosmetic procedures, there will always be terrifying and sadly unavoidable side effects as you age. I keep seeing this going around, cosmetic limb lengthening surgery to get taller. It's just not worth it. The risks are high from infections to pin site complications, bones not healing, difficulty with walking, joint dislocations. There's many problems, cosmetically don't do it. But I am bringing this completely acoustic uh, cosmetic procedure because it also applies with these people getting their faces Watched up uh, by this Dr. Kim guy, but specifically I'm talking about the people who are trying their best to avoid aging naturally by getting that facelift procedure. It's like, bro, I keep thinking about it and it, it just keeps getting worse. For example, with the cosmetic procedure where you're artificially getting taller, what about your, your, what about your arms? What about your wingspan? Are you gonna be like a, a long leg crab? Like, are you gonna like have a long legs but short arms like this? Like, you're gonna look extremely disproportionate. Just like if you're a woman who is scared of wrinkles on your on your face, sure, you're getting that facelift and let's say you get lucky, you RNG, because remember with Dr. Kim, you're playing Russian roulette, you're playing a, a worse version of Russian roulette. Like, let's say you get lucky, right? You, you end up looking good, you get rid of your wrinkles, but what about your, your what about your wrinkly, uh, your wrinkly soccer balls? What about them? Are you gonna get plastic surgery on your soccer balls too? And then what about your, your wrinkly arms? Are you gonna get plastic surgery there too? Like, it just never ends. It just never ends. Stop trying to look like a disproportionate mutant. Stop trying to look like a, you know, a, a wrinkless face with a wrinkly body monster. Don't try to control superficial things that you can't control. You'll only make things worse. Money, 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 money.